I just don't say, whoops. And they're going to be worried about you. You're not, my son, he's bad about this. You go somewhere and be out late, and I'm wondering where he is. I know he's grown, but I'm, wor I'm worried. Is he okay? If he leaves and goes somewhere, he don't text and say, I got here safely. What do we do to you? If you committed to something, you're going to make sure your people know that you're all right. Because you love them. Amen. I could be gone for a long time. My wife never check on me. Though. We comical as because we know the truth and we're not offended by it. But you can't be this way with everybody. You know why? Because they ain't committed to what God has before. We come over here, rented this building, started this church. For what? To just let it go away? No! We got to be committed to it. If it don't make it, it ain't can't be because of our commitment. That can't be. We got to be committed to getting the job done. I believe if we're committed to it, God will do His part that we can't do. So, it's discouraging that people have decided not to be part of this no more. It's discouraging that right off the bat we had some people that decided not to be part of this. It's discouraging. But it's not so discouraging that we can't overcome it if we're really committed. And I'll prophesy to you right now. If we remain, some of those that are gone will come back. If we remain, new people will come. If we remain, there's going to be some more people leave. It's just the way things are. And yes, it hurts. Y'all don't know it, and I hide from it because I like to be looked at and feel like it's a strong man. But I cry like a baby when people quit the church. I cry when they don't show up. When I baptize someone and they don't come back, it makes me cry. Hurts. But we can get through it. If, it, if you weren't committed, it wouldn't hurt. If you weren't doing what you were supposed to do, it wouldn't bother you. But what we got to understand is, trouble is coming. There's always a time of weeping. But the Bible says, joy is coming in the morning. If you remain committed, you will see the joy of the Lord. You will see the increase of the Lord. He will make it happen. This will tell you what the scripture says. I'm about to shut up. I have some notes. So you can say that's why I'm going longer. I got about four more pages. I can't do all that. Y'all too hungry. But you're not that committed. We gotta eat. But the thing is what I want to share with you. Scripture that stands out in my mind that's been with me from day one of this thing Sister Christian it says be not deceived for God is not mocked whatsoever a man soweth that shall he also reap he that soweth unto corruption shall of corruption reap but he that soweth unto life is going to reap life and then it says, be not, the, the most important part of this set of scripture, be not weary in well-doing, for in due season 
you will reap if you think not. If you don't get tired of it, if you don't make it let you give up, if it don't make you give up and throw in the towel, you will reap a harvest. You will reap something great, some benefit. If we can make this happen, if we can go through the rough times and we can ride it out right here at this place, we will see a great harvest, not something that we can pat ourselves on the back for, but something we can bring the loss to the Lord and we can see our family saved. We'll see it. We'll see it. Right now, we can fill this church up. This little church would take much just with our acts of family members. If all of Brother Robert's kids were here, it'd be full. If you add my kids here, Add to it. Some of the rest of you. Some of your uh, cousins. People you really love. If you could just add some of those people. Everybody could add a few. This place would be full. And if this place is full and everybody's committed and part of commitment is giving. Giving your tithe and offering. We have to buy us another bigger place. Amen. Oh, that's good problems. Amen. But the first thing we got to do, committed to the cause. If you don't think there is a cause, though, you'll never commit to it. First thing in our mind. We got to do like David said when Goliath was out there hollering, somebody come find me. Nobody would go because they were scared. You know what David said? He said, is there not a cause? Is there not a reason to do this? And I submit to you right here on the side of this busy highway right here, Semi-busy highway. Is there not a cause for us to be here? You don't have to go far down the street to find the cause. You don't have to go far into the town of Pontotoc to find the cause. I was in Pontotoc just a few days ago, went into the convenience store, and I saw two individuals that was that come to church when we was in the house in New Albany. We was having service in that. And they were so happy to see me and promised that they was going to come. And the girl grabbed me and said, Brother Kitty, I've never in my life felt what I felt at y'all's church in that house. I've never felt that before. I realize she ain't here. But if she got that, she's got a seed in her. And there's a cause right there to keep doing that. We got to do it. We got to be committed. Amen. I'm preaching to the choir, but y'all all are here. Don't none of y'all sing really except a couple of you. But that's what we got to instill in ourselves. Hey, let's do this. Let's say there's a cause. I'm going to tell you right now. If this church were not here right now, where would you be, Sister Trisha? At home in bed. Would you? If this church wasn't here, wasn't preaching. But would you? Would you made it? You've been through some bad things? I don't know. I know for me, when I first got in the way I needed to be, if I hadn't got in, I don't think I'd have lived much longer. There's people out there like that. We know people like that. Amen. I ain't saying anything bad about none of you. But where would you be if we weren't here right now? I, my ministry is dependent upon this right now. 
I was, I didn't know what direction I'm going. We got that direction. We got that reason, that cause. Now let's commit and let's get it done. Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand of praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to be dismissed. Sometimes I feel to have an altar service. Sometimes I don't. It's, I feel like people can have an altar in their own heart too. But if, if you need prayer before we leave here, we'll definitely pray.